familiar cry of the Kokriko has been heralded as a beautiful wake-up call for some, while others associate that distinctive call to destruction. Some may have questioned the decision to elevate this bird to reverend status as part of Trinidad and Tobago's coat of arms. According to Dr. Pemberton, the bird was not always a pest and lived within Tobago's main rich rainforest far away from populated communities and regularly hunted. But its elevation to national bird status meant it was now protected. Because by law it was protected and there were many speakers talking about these birds and, and, and the good image that they projected of the country and they should not be hunted. It didn't stop it, but it was reduced. So this gave the population of the bird a chance to increase beyond the normal rate. When the island was devastated by Hurricane Flora in 1963, the food source in the forest was decimated, forcing the bird to migrate to the forest's edge and surrounding communities who were replanting their crops. So now it adapted and it multiplied. Plenty fruit trees, plenty things to eat. So gardens, everybody where, everywhere somebody had something growing, the birds were there helping themselves and it became urbanized. It never returned to the forest and grew comfortable living in populated areas, multiplying rapidly. Farmers kept complaining, begging for government action, and the government really didn't act, at least not as fast as people would have liked. So the birds didn't care. Every morning and every evening, they continue singing. Dr. Pemberton explained the many parallels that can be drawn between the Cockrico and the Tobogonian. Like the bird, the bird has, the bird migrated and it changed its eating habits, or its habits generally. So in Tobago, the people did just that. They abandoned the, the old time thing, you know, where your grandmother did now, ah, we don't want them old thing so anymore. They throw them out throughout the practices. She said in the same way, we need to find a way to get the Kokriko back into the forest for agriculture to improve. Tobogonians need to get back to its behavior of old to move forward as a society. Candace Jackson. <laughs> Channel 5 News.